Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and today is another Yuzu tutorial on how to play Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury 4D Switch which should have come out today as you're watching this video. But yeah, as always, leave a like, comment down below if this video works after you watch it and subscribe is really appreciated more videos coming soon. Now the first thing you're gonna do is download all the links from the description. If they don't work join my discord server also a link in the description for that and after you've downloaded it you can use regular yuzu you should have a, a setup. If you got early access you should unzip the folder and you'll get this early access folder. In my case 1440 for you it can be a later version the newer the better. Anyways in that folder if you have the early access one find yuzu.exe and launch it. For regular yuzu users just open the shortcut on your desktop after the setup and you will get this pop up saying derivation components missing. Now this is normal. Here we click OK and the first thing we're going to do is on the top left corner you want to go to file open yuzu folder. And in here there should be a few folders and we're going to look for the keys folder. If there's not a keys folder no worries just make a new folder called keys no capital letters whatsoever. And after you've done that drag the prod keys file in here which you should get from down below or my discord server. So we drag and drop it in here and after that we're going to double click to add a new folder to the game list. So you're adding a folder not the game itself. So in my case I have it on my hard drive user games. So I select that folder and to be sure you're going to right click on it and check scan subfolders. Now you can see my games are not showing up and that is because you have to close out of Yuzu and open it again. Now as you can see I have my games in this list now. You should be able to see your games as well. Now after we've done this we're going to the top left corner to emulation and then configure. I like my eyes so I'm gonna put this light theme to dark and click OK. And now we're gonna go back to the emulation tab. Now in here make sure the free first check marks are checked for the rest you don't really need to do anything. Same for system if you want to change the time in game you can change it with custom RTC. I don't really need it so I don't turn it on. CPU change this to unsafe if you have problems with it change it back to accurate because unsafe can help with CPUs performance by a lot. Not all CPUs some of them who don't support certain handling. Now under graphics for me because I have an Nvidia graphics card I'm going to choose OpenGL. If you have an AMD card choose Vulkan and then choose your graphics card. Now as I said before I'm using OpenGL. Also Intel HD I would not recommend it. Maybe 630 or newer but again I would not recommend it. In here make sure you have disk shader cache, asynchronous GPU and NVDEC enabled. Disk shader cache does not work on Vulkan at least the one I'm sharing. It will not work on Vulkan okay. I've said it now. I should have said it in the other guides. It doesn't work on Vulkan. Now under advanced on the top here we want to check everything in here and I'm going to choose 16 times of anisotropic filtering. You can keep this on default if you want and the top two are OpenGL only. If you have crashes try disabling the middle two because these are experimental and the accuracy level keep it on normal if you're having some weird visual glitches try high accuracy. All right now after this I'm gonna put my audio on 90 percent. You can choose your audio device blah blah blah. I'm gonna disable audio stretching and that is basically audio. Controls are very important as well. Make sure this is green otherwise your controller will not work. And in my case I'm going to use my Xbox controller which I did not turn on before. So I'm going to click the refresh button and choose the controller. It should already be set up but we don't want to have the pro controller but we want to have dual joy cons. And make sure the console mode is on docked at the bottom. Now you can turn off vibration or configure how much vibration and the same with motion if you have like a PS4 controller with a gyroscope in it. You can configure that as well but it's not really necessary. You can save your profile etc etc. But this is basically what you need to do. So click OK 
And now it's time to run the game for the first time, but then we're not done. So give me a second. All right, so what I did is I launched the game and I build up some shader cache. So I close the game and we're back here and this is why. What you want to do is go to the game, right click and click open transferable shader cache. Now in here it would have made a little shader cache which is like 500 KB but I'll probably have a bigger one in the description so what you want to do with that one is drag and drop it in here and replace this file. Right now I don't have it yet since I just got the game. But yeah, be sure to do that. It really helps with performance and once again, it only works on OpenGL, not on Vulkan. All right, so after you've done that, the game should run way smoother. So congratulations, that's it. If this video worked, comment down below that it did so new people know it's real. Leave a like on the video so it gets recommended to more people and subscribe, it means the world to me. And yeah, if you wanna chat with me, or something's wrong with this don't try to comment down below it's impossible to help you in the comments join my discord server where you can share screenshots and stuff or just to chat with me and others also i would love to see you in my live streams i stream on tuesdays and saturdays and yeah that is basically all i hope i could help you with this video and yeah hope to see you in the next one peace